new package. Knife. All right. I don't know that I would put my arm in. I have faith in you. All right. Don't poke too deep now. It's finally here. You want to add him to the top? Let's go. Oh, where he doesn't you? really fit. He's heavy. <laughs> He's got a lot of pieces. He doesn't fit. Mm. If only the ceiling was higher. <laughs> well, put him by. Put him over here. We'll make it look better later. You happy? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well. One of the big boxes came in today, something that I've been really wanting to make this room usable, and that's a table. It's from Mr. Ironstone on Amazon, it's like a hundred bucks, and I thought it'd be kind of iffy, but it actually turned out to be a really nice table. I just got it built, it's going to go somewhere in here, just got to get this mess cleaned up. I got packages and all kinds of cords everywhere, and we're going to get that cleaned up and then I'm going to throw it in here. Here's the actual box for the package. That's my foot, for example. It's a it's a rather large box. So the table's over there. We're going to get that thrown in there. I'm going to have to pick this up, aren't I? One arm. Bad idea. Here we go. I'm too fat for this. This whole way's too small. Okay, that took some serious... There's the door frame. That took some serious work to get that through there. <laughs> it's such a tight corner. Let's see if it'll, uh, see what it looks like in here. Oh, there it is. Mm. What we've been missing. Let's go up there. This may have been on sale. The Miss Collector doesn't know about it. We need to keep it that way. It's just between us. However, Mr. Mandalorian needs to go back on the shelf. Right up here, where he belongs. We're just missing a few. Look at that. I can't tell anything because this. Jesus bulb. But there it is. How sweet is that? Now, personally, I think that looks pretty good. That's where we're going to start doing some of our videos. We're going to be able to sit down, have a stable place to actually make decent videos, improve the set, get some lighting going, make everything look better, more professional and put better stuff out there for you guys. But first, first I gotta get rid of all this stuff. What a mess. I've gotta find a home for this, get somewhere to put all the equipment that's not gonna take up a majority of our floor space so I can actually start putting equipment here. Well, it's about an hour later. I finally cleaned the mess up. So here it is. If you'll see, uh, this will be pretty much my perspective. Sitting here. We'll have the table, we'll do reviews. Camera will be over there. Obviously we're gonna get some new stuff. But uh, yeah, everything will be over there. And it'll look pretty good. Well, it's been a few more days and I just got something else new that I think is going to change how we do things a good bit. And it's right here. So I picked up this, the Moza Aircross 2 on eBay. It was a little sketched out if it would come in good condition or not, but we got the camera on there. And it's looking awesome. Now I don't know if anyone has used one of these before, but this is called a gimbal. So with a gimbal, now let me double tap this and it should lock back in front. Oh, hang on.
Yeah. So you can rock and keep that staple shot. And obviously I'm being one-handed and really aggressive with it, but go selfie mode and have it return back. So we're gonna be using this quite a bit. So this machine uh, has a lot of really neat features. It can do uh, like spiraling shots. I'm sure you've seen that in some people's videos if they've used a gimbal. Or if you see like a really smooth tracking shot of somebody like walking through the woods or just really smooth panoramic stuff. I mean, you could run an obstacle course using this and your video will come out just as smooth as if I was holding, probably smoother than me holding this phone right now. I mean, those are really, really top the line pieces of equipment. And I got this one for pennies on a dollar through eBay. And I'm just excited to use it out. I'm not going to, by no stretch of the imagination, am I some sort of professional. But once I've learned how to use this and we start doing more vlog stuff outdoors and, and traveling places, like we have, a, we're going to go to the Bricks and Minifigs in Brentwood, Tennessee when it opens up uh, March 4th. So we'll be out there. I might bring it out and use it then. But. To get that for the price I got it, I'm super excited and I need to learn how to use it. Some of you may be wondering why I'm wearing a jacket and beanie inside. It is so unbelievably cold outside. I'll throw a little clip in here to show you. I mean, it is it is unbelievably cold. These little icicles hanging everywhere. Well, we have some new stuff coming in. I've got a new tripod, some cables that are really going to help change uh, how I wire some stuff up. And be able to use all this equipment to its maximum potential. And uh, so we'll show that off in a little bit. And just as I said, they showed up. It's only been about an hour since the last shot. So I'm going to get these opened up and I'll show you what we're working with. Well, there it is. Got a new tripod. I've been shooting with a little thing like this that I've had for five or so years, as well as I picked this one up the other day. That one was a lot higher quality, and it's great for those short shots, but this has been our mainline tripod. It was $12, and it is what you would expect to get for $12. It's served us great for now, but it's been more of a, a pain than it has been a help recently. So that's why I picked up this tripod. And then I got a camera cable. Um, so this will adapt from USB-C to 3.5 millimeter. And that will allow me to hook up microphones to the camera here or to my phone. Now to film. Uh, it's a little easier to be portable with the phone. So I figured I'd get one that would serve both of them in case I want to flip flop from the big camera or to this one. So already off the bat, I'm impressed. I didn't know this tripod had a carrying case. Um, this is my first time opening it up. And obviously I didn't read the review too well because I didn't know I had this. So we're gonna pull this out and see what it's like. Well, I am very impressed with this. It's got so many features. This whole middle assembly can be taken off and inverted if you want to do low macro shots. You've got this hook that'll allow you to weight this thing down. Now I've got it on three posts up, and to me it's about chest level. So this right here is right at my chest line, which is how I like to film. I mean, I can adjust the angle of the camera, but I like it to be a little higher. My other one just, I mean, this is as tall as it would go on its own. And if you extend it out, look how low that is. This one really just did not serve, serve my purposes very well. But we're done with it for now. I mean, I can still use it in the short mode. However, this one still has another tier that I could go up if I wanted. And this whole assembly can go up. I could pretty much touch the ceiling with it if I wanted. And uh, this side, that's got the screw you can detach it and turn it into a monopod. I mean, how freaking cool is that? Comes with an extension tube, 
and an extra quick release plate if you want to put a different piece of equipment on there. This completely comes off just that fast. So if you mount your camera to it, like I've got a quick mount on there, snap this one in if you wanted to change shots. And I have my phone mounted to a different one. I could snap it right in here too. Uh, so like I said, I could put this phone mount on that quick plate and have it changed out in, in just a second. This is also included. Man, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> I'm gonna be using this a ton. You're gonna see it more in these videos. Well, you won't see it, but I'll see it from back here. <laughs> Man, I'm so happy with that. Well, I know this hasn't been our standard video format or content, honestly. So if you are still watching at this point, I thank you. Uh, really just trying to show off the improvements we're making. I mean, we really are trying to make everything better for you guys and make better content. One day, and brace for me, <clears throat> big adjustment. We're trying to make it to where we can do, <clears throat> you know, the same kind of videos, the same quality as big YouTubers with millions of subs. I mean, you don't have to have those subs to make good videos, and we're trying to really make that a true statement. Um, so this is a start. Maybe we'll have better audio using that, better video with this, <laughs> and we'll try and do some better stuff. But uh, hang in there with us, and I hope you like the video. Bye.